If I were to only recommend three of these shadows, it would of course be, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And today I'm doing a product specific video. I'm giving you kind of swatches and that's pretty much it on these eight Misha Modern Shadow Glitter Prism Shadows. Yesdale gave me a $50 voucher that I used towards buying eight of these. And I was interested in making this video because I was trying to find kind of more information on a bunch of these shades and it just didn't exist. So let me just fill that hole in the world. The shades I have are Lucid Prism, Kitten Prism, Blue Hole Prism, Blossom Prism, Dragon Prism, Red Beam Prism, Ultimate Prism, and lastly, Garden Prism. Garden Prism is actually what I am wearing all over my eyes today, and the green comes out a lot stronger than I was expecting it to. So that's all I'm wearing on my lids. A little bit of an unrelated side note before we start that I think might just entertain y'all. My mood has been so off. I kind of want to blame my Kylina IUD. My mood is just so irritable and so labile. Oh my gosh, like for example, I went out and got a fresh, a fresh new cut today for my hair and I came back and I saw this mole and I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my God, I have a new mole. And then I started crying and it's not a new mole. I, I look back at my Instagram photos. It's been there for perhaps years. And then when I went over to get some earrings to put on for this video, I stepped on a McDonald's honey mustard that my cat knocked off the table and it burst all over my carpet and then I cried. And then I cried. And let's not even talk about the fact that I'm not having clean drinking water for five days. That's also a thing that's happening. Now back to the content of the video. <laughs> These are $8.46 currently on the website, but yeah, Style is seriously always running some kind of 10, 12, 15% off promotion. And you can also use someone's influencer code for an extra two to 5% off minus Sally Choi if you choose to. And we make some um, YesStyle credit back if you do you use that. And I always am ordering from YesStyle. So that goes straight back into content for my channel. Instead of doing overhead swatches of these, I think I'm gonna do hand swatches because a lot of these, as a prism name would suggest, have a lot of different things going on in different lights. So I think that just catching that on the curve of a palm will benefit us a little bit more than just on my arm. Well, okay, I actually know that we all like some arm swatches as well. So I'm just gonna throw up some footage here of all eight of these swatched on my arm. The order of these shadows from left to right are Lucid Prism, Kitten Prism, Blue Hole Prism, Blossom Prism, Dragon Prism, Red Beam Prism, Ultimate Prism, and Garden Prism. Okay, now that I've already read out all of those shade names twice, let's go through them a third time individually. And this is where I'm gonna be doing the palm swatches. The first shade is Lucid Prism. And here is how it looks on the finger. One thing, oh, if it'll focus. Oh yeah, one thing that I adore about these is just how they blend into the skin so seamlessly. Like, it's, very difficult to see kind of where the shadow stops and where the skin starts and that makes it really easy to blend but that also means it's more of a sheer shade so these are pretty much kind of toppers they don't have a lot of like opaqueness on their own so here is lucid prism just like a very soft sheen oh that has some pink to it doesn't it the next shade is kitten prism which is an extremely Probably the most neutral out of the bunch, although most of these are pretty neutral, but in terms of like this doesn't have any like blue or green or hot pink or anything like that going on. So here it is on my middle finger. This, the way this melts into the skin really reminds me of a highlighter almost. So here is Kitten. <gasps> oh, there's Kitten Prism. This has a very, very soft effect. I just want to say like right now, um, I don't think that these are the best formula, but I do think that if you pick one or maybe two that you can have this in your arsenal to just add like a really nice uh, light reflecting effect on top of any eyeshadow look. So I hope that this video is just helpful for you in picking those one or two shades if you are picking any of them. The reason why I say they're not the best formula is because they're pretty dry and they're not very opaque as I already said. Um, and I don't think they're meant to be, but I just 
want y'all to have like realistic expectations of these. Next we have a blue hole prism and this is actually one that was out of stock for a really long time. This held up my order for like two weeks and so in the pan you can see kind of blue and purple in a neutral mix of a base. So there's blue hole prism and here's blue hole prism. <gasps> Whoa! Oh that one's pretty. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. No competition these two shades. Blue Hole Prism is my favorite so far. Okay, no wonder the shade was sold out for so long. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, you guys know I love a neutral base with a blue, purple, or green shift because it just looks so magical to me. Um, so all I've used before filming this portion of the video is Garden Prism on my eyes. So this is the first time I'm touching any of these other shades. Out of the first three, Blue Hole Prism is the one to go with. I really hope it's not sold out when y'all are watching this. If it is, just keep it in your loves list um, and, and keep an eye out for when it comes back in stock. I don't really think I'd recommend Kitten Prism, this middle one, just because it's so plain, like it doesn't really offer anything new to any of our collections probably. Lucid Prism is just slightly more interesting, but um, I, I still don't know if I would recommend it really because it's not that interesting. Oh, can you imagine this just all over the eye? After I swatch all eight of these shades, I hope I remember, but I am going to swatch compare Blue Hole Prism and Garden Prism next to ColourPop Glass Bowl and Tea Garden because those are the shadows that I'm really reminded of just touching these. On to the next shade, we have Blossom Prism, which is kind of pink and coral. Here's Blossom Prism on my finger and a swatch. Oh, not as pink as I was expecting it to be. It looks almost kind of silvery, doesn't it? Huh, interesting. Well, there's obviously some pink in there, but it's not as corally or bright as I was thinking it would be. With this kind of marbled, um, or what is this called, like mosaic pan pattern, it's actually pretty hard to tell what this is gonna look like on the eye, um, which is probably a con for some people because at least for me when I'm doing an eye look, I like to know what color it's gonna show up as. <laughs> so that's just one that, or these kind of products are the ones that I need to become familiar with before I have that confidence. Okay, the next shade is Dragon Prism, which is the most like potently colorful one we've seen so far. Here it is on my finger and it looks pretty fiery. Oh, that looks cool. Red and yellow and orange. So here's Dragon Prism. Oh yeah, that one has a lot more impact than the one next to it. Yeah, a lot of fiery tones in there. Next, we have another fairly bright one and this is Red Beam Prism. So I think it'll be interesting to see how that compares to Dragon Prism. So this is Red Beam. If it'll focus, this is Red Beam and this is Dragon. So swatching out Red Beam. Um, I actually think I prefer Dragon here because the gold looks more different from the red in the shadow, whereas this kind of just looks like a almost standard metallic shade, not a lot of shift happening. Huh, Red Beam Prism was a little bit underwhelming to me. All right, we have two shades left. First, we have Ultimate Prism, which has more like purples and mauves in it. Here's Ultimate Prism on my finger. That one is really pretty. And swatched out Ultimate Prism. Oh, that one. I like the ones that have stronger color, if you can't tell. It has a mauve base with, what is that in that reflect? Like a little bit of pink and maybe blue even? A little silvery? Yeah, this one is, this one is really pretty. And lastly, we have Garden Prism, which has neutral tones with just these little flecks of green kind of shimmer in there. And the green comes out way stronger than I was thinking it would. Here it is on my finger. Do you see how strong that green is? Oh, this one is so pretty. Oh, I think this one is actually my favorite, which is funny because um, this is probably the one I would have bought if I could only pick one because I'm just attracted to greens right now in my life. And out of the eight, for testing out which one I would slap on my eyes, I did pick Garden Prism. So here is Garden Prism. And man, it really does remind me of Tea Garden. So stick tight and I'm gonna show you swatch comparisons of this and Blue Hole Prism with those color pop shadows. Wow, I really like both of these. But I, I gotta say Garden Prism has a little bit tighter a grip on my heart than Ultimate does. 
Well, those are the swatches of the eight shades that I bought of the Misha Modern Shadow Glitter Prism Shadows. And let me um, do those swatch comparisons with the ColourPop Duochromes real quick. So let's swatch Blue Hole Prism next to Glass Bowl. Glass Bowl is on my middle finger. So this is Misha's Blue Hole Prism. Oh, oh my gosh, this one's so breathtaking. Oh, this one's so cute. Okay, and then we have Glass Bowl next to it. Oh, and surprisingly, surprisingly, the Misha one is stronger. Huh. Okay, let me build up Glass Bowl one more time. So here's Glass Bowl built up. Again, let me just smooth out the chunks. Okay. So Glass Bowl does look to have a little bit of green in there, um, whereas Blue Prism, not as much. Let's see what Blue Prism looks like if I were to build it up. Man, wow, I kind of like the Misha one better, don't y'all think? The ColourPop one, every time I talk about it, I do mention that it is kind of thin of a formula. And the Misha ones are a little bit thinner too, but wow, the Misha one's stronger, y'all. You saw it here first, you heard it here first. Okay, next let's look at Garden Prism versus Tea Garden. So here is Garden Prism on my pointer finger. And here is Tea Garden on my middle finger. So side by side, whoa, side by side. It looks like the Misha one is a little stronger, don't you think? So I'm gonna swatch these on the upper part of my palm. Here is Misha Garden Prism. All right, and then we have ColourPop Tea Garden. Oh, well, this one's a little bit closer. This one's a little closer. Actually, Tea Garden wins this one so far in terms of just like the first layer. Although, oh, man, hmm, yeah, I think Tea Garden wins this one for me. Cool. Now you know. Here's another look at those swatch comparisons so you can decide for yourselves. Misha is on your left and ColourPop will be on your right. Now, at this point of the video, if I were to only recommend three of these shadows, it would of course be Blue Prism, Garden Prism, and lastly, I'll pick Ultimate Prism. I think I'd only be able to recommend three out of these eight shades. Well, okay, I'll put in like a fourth recommendation, I guess, which is Dragon Prism. If you're into reds and oranges and those fiery colors, I personally am not, um, so that's why I didn't really make my top three recommendations. Well, I hope that this video was fun for y'all. I feel like if you're watching this video, you're either like an avid supporter of me and who watches all of my content, or you are looking for information on these Misha shadows. And in either case, I hope that this was helpful for you, whether it's just for your entertainment or for your information. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Remember that y'all are my treasure. Find the beauty in every day, but most importantly, be kind to yourselves. I will see you in my next video. Bye.